hit scan. All right. See if he can have a better showing today. It was not bad yesterday, but I think Linkser Linkser and, and Hydration. What we just saw. If you can't get Rogues, get Warriors exactly or Tanks. Yeah. Yeah, put, put Rogues down to kill the flying people. Uh, yeah, and they, they How's it going, Outlaws fans? have a pretty good chance. Yo, what of, up, uh, Malik? Everybody watching at home. It has been such a pleasure being back emceeing here at the Overwatch League. And we've been having Malik was one of my favorite people I've ever worked with in esports. Yeah? He was positive right. all the time. time. He was, yeah. For the main event of the He's a hard worker. So please help yeah. me kick things oh, off. Oh, he's a fucking right. unbelievably hard worker. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he used to come in at like 9 a.m. for our meetings and tell us that he had been in the studio producing music until like 4, 5. The man, I don't know when he sleeps. The man has a work ethic that just an unbelievable work ethic. Yeah. But yeah, and he's, he works he's just all sorts nice. of events, loads of different projects going on as well. Always he makes time for fans as well. Yeah. If anybody wants to and chat. He, and he's super chill. Yeah. Yeah. Really good dude. Ro Rice, rogues go on the flying people and target obelisk. What? I thought the rogues were supposed to target for. flying Please. people. Make some noise for your Houston Outlaw. Huh. I don't know. We'll, we'll let you figure it out, Chad. Yeah, yeah. We don't know. We're not strategists. We're not battle generals and I tacticians. May have run the ra run. Only Red. archers can kill the flying. Oh fuck! No, they can't. I think warriors can. They well, how about this, chat? We have some archers only in the middle so that we destroy everything on the floor first and then the archers kill the things in the in the sky. It's a pretty cool hype vid. No gameplay montage. Yeah, the outlaws know that the uh, their faces sell the jerseys, not their gameplay. Oh, they've got hydration pulling out the flag again. He's learned, dude. Hydration's got that little smile. He looks so much more comfortable I mean, with the flag. Learned? Yeah, a bit. He's still spinning the flag around, but he looked a lot more comfortable than he did yesterday. I, I mean, I wouldn't be high-fiving fans. No, holy shit. I absolutely would Nothing not. against fans, but just oh, you touching are dirty. that many people's hands. <laughs> you are dirty, dirty people. Touching that many hands, you're going to get sick again. Oh. Like, you're going to get sick again. Sanitize. When you get on that stage, sanitize, please. Don't touch your mouths. And Reinhardt, all at the same time, make some noise for Spree. Yeah, I would be fist bumping. Fist bumping and then sanitizing anyway. This walkout has big public execution fun. <laughs> <laughs> that drama punk guy has been killing yeah. me. The, the comments have been slaying Sending me in the chat. them out one at a time <laughs> for the guillotine. This man never Give it up for Rocket. Yeah, I remember the season one sanitized thing. I wasn't actually there that day. Was that season one? Yeah, that was season one. Season one? Yep, yep. Well, it was because I remember Crumb's got sanitization fluid in his hands, clapped them together, and it went in my eyes. <laughs> and I had to carry on the desk like nothing had happened. Like rubbing alcohol in my eyes. And I was like, yep, well, here we go. <laughs> Sanitized chants, chants definitely do need to make a comeback. The poop lord. He's got the fist bump strat. Yeah, Mooma knows. Mooma knows. Mooma knows. We lose every week. We lose every week. You're nothing special. We lose every week. <laughs> you got to lean into it if you're an Outlaws fan. You got to. You got to. Yeah. The man who is so good at running the dive, he should be an Olympic gold medalist. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great chant. I'm going to actually Google best chants for shit teams. Because <laughs> I bet there's some others as well. Houston. Yeah. I'm going to let them have it. Houston and Boston, they can both have them. Guess what, guys? Wait a second, wait a second. We got one more Houston outlaw. 
One more Houston outlaw. So let's find out who that is. Jake. Oh, oh yeah, it's oh. Jake's retirement, Jersey retirement, isn't it? This is strange, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's feeling relaxed. I'm ready to get game at this. I can understand why though, because he is the face he was the face of his team. Yeah. And to a he larger was, part, the face of the league. Yeah, he was to some extent. So yeah. I just think Jersey retirements should not happen in a league that's so young. It's just Yeah, it's I that's what I found a little bit odd about. It's so it. weird. Like you should save it for true fucking legends. Because to me it feels retire. a little bit disingenuous. Like they're doing it for. The it, it feels almost like, a, it's like farming the like fans. It's the corporation that's making the decision, right? Because they think this is this is the most effective way, yeah. right? Yeah. That's kind of what it feels. I like. Having said that, this is a beautiful piece to commemorate Jake's yeah, time on the Outlaws. A lovely montage. Yeah. I think Jake will appreciate it. Hundred percent. I can't believe Jake's dead. <laughs> Everybody give it up. Oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> Getting the fist, fist bump. bump. The fist, fist bump, bump technique. Fist Jake, bump technique. Jake's like, yeah, I ain't touching anyone's hands, bro. <laughs> Gonna stay healthy. We saw him make Chuck Rack great again. And he is here in Houston with his old outlaws buddies. What what's gonna happen here? I don't know. How is this gonna go? I don't know. This. Also joining us here on stage, we got Houston Outlaws General Manager Flame. Give it up for Flame, guys. Jake, thank you so much for coming up here, joining us, and being a part. What an of absolute man. mountain uh, of a man. How do you feel, man? Oh, Flame. Oh yeah. Houston He's built Outlaws like a fucking brick shit house, isn't he? He really is. Uh, definitely. What I want to say is that. Uh, for me, pursuing esports and, and playing at a professional level was like my original childhood dream. And I couldn't be happier to play for a more amazing group of fans. Uh, there's no other city I would have rather played for. Uh, and, and I just want to say thanks for always supporting me and the team through thick and thin. I can't say what a wind at our back you guys have always been. It's just an amazing community of fans behind us. Y'all are awesome and so supportive. And I really always appreciate that. That's a lovely little speech from Jake. Yeah, that was nice. Hey, Flame, you've been here since the very beginning for the Houston Outlaws. Are there any words you want to say about this this very spiritual and beautiful individual right here? <laughs> I'm going to keep this short because my voice is going, but um, I think I speak for everyone in this room when I say Jake has been a very instrumental part to this team from day one, and there really wouldn't be an Outlaws without him. And so in commemoration of that, on behalf of all the Outlaws, the team, the staff, everyone in this audience, we're going to Retire your jersey and solidify you as a family member of this organization forever. That is awesome. So awesome. Flame, thank you very much. Everybody, one more time for Jake and the Houston Outlaws. Starters, go ahead and take your seats. Okay. Guys, I can feel the energy in here. It is strong. So we're not going to waste UK any club more time. here, what is retiring Let's his jersey? It's a thing that, generally speaking, is done for athletes well, with Gilles, numerous accomplishments away. over many years. Yeah. Thank you very much, and it's like, nice uh, that and it, no one else can have that number. Guys. Yeah, the number. So He's it is a big team. deal, He's usually. Mine. You can't have him back. I'm just kidding, but let's go ahead. Get ready to kick off this series. You just got to look at our starting six. I Lancer can't find... Uh, the, the the apparently, there's the teams that chant... Uh, fans that chant, the sell the team. The <laughs> That's why, why I think diversity uh, is the best way to describe what the Outlaws fans have uh, across the world, not just here in Houston right now. But I think adversity... Yeah, Toronto was just sad at PC. He's just watching it unfold. It's not the first time the Outlaws have been struggling at the beginning of a Actually, season. Actually, Toronto might not have been walked yet. Last year, have we? Oh and I think seven, Back when we had stages in the Overwatch League, they've got one more chance here against an opponent they absolutely mm. can beat in Toronto in front of the home crowd to take that first win to avoid the 06. The crowd's behind them. And I think the team, it's now or never, it's tonight. Uh, in the league, I don't think that there's a player. Be tonight. This might be the beginning of a terrible losing streak. I think Who they've got to shatter it now. Could have we'll that jersey retired. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Maybe if Sinatra once again got MVP and the Shock won again. But then the thing is, they're so young, all of the players, that even if they retire, like say, like Fissure. Yeah. Fissure says he's retired, goes to streaming, and then he, he might just rejoin the league. Play again. Yeah, he might just play again. It's not like sports where you're too old to play. You will literally never have a pro career again. It's a lot of the time when they retire, they absolutely could just come back a year later. Yeah, they did. I, I think that's really weird as well. Jayong hasn't even fucking retired. Jayong might end up back on Seoul. Yeah. And you've retired his jersey. Like, that's like... That's that. It feels like it's being used as a tool, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, instead of for its actual integrity. Jae Hong should should not have had his jersey retired because he could just go back to fucking Seoul Dynasty. That makes no sense. When he fully retires, Jae Hong is that kind of legend of the game that yes. you could retire his jersey. But he has not retired. All right, let's let's have a look at this then because Toronto are going to be running double main tank. Oh, right. Okay. So uh, Toronto are running double main tank of their own. Wings have gone on the flank here. Houston have to play Ooh. aggressive. Oh, nice. Well played. Well played. Well time for Why are you trying to fight the McCree, though? Turn around. Oh, my God. He, he gets the kill anyway. Remember, got yoinked off the point. I don't... Houston still don't oh, win this, God. Though. Houston still Sorry, don't win this. Even how? With those oh, nice, nice boop. boop from Great Jackson. boop from Jackson. How did they not... How have they not killed more people? I'll tell you why. Because Lynx has been trying to take 1v1s in the back instead of trying to help the, the his tanks. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, no. no. Come on. No, 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 no. This is the problem. They give you... They, they give you false hope at the beginning of the match. <laughs> and then you feel disappointed. They manage to disappoint you every single time. I like this chase, though. This is what Houston are actually pretty good at. They're good at chasing down teams as they stagger. Do you think uh, Toronto are going to be a little bit rattled? Oh, yeah. Crowd? That's a good one. We're shit and we know we are. That's We're shit and we know we are. That's pretty good. The whole of the old London roster, don't they have their jerseys retired? But again, that's not the play, in my opinion. But clearly we don't share the same opinions as the people in charge. And that's team decisions, by the way. Oh, that was a boop into a boop. Did he? Oh, right, and uh, Hydration died. He got killed. But he got hit by a Reinhammer, and then he got booped by Nevix. And if he hadn't been killed, then he would have fallen off the map. environmental. Yeah. Yeah, the, the jersey retirements are all team decisions. To make sure that Agility gets the Blizzard off the mat or what. You could see the silhouette of Mecco hiding around the corner because he knew the Blizzard engage was going to be right on those stairs. He wanted to absorb it. But Kareev denies him one simple sleep. Will Star here, support, making it happen. He's got the nano boost ready now as well. Big six, however, coming up for Houston Outlaws. Links are just a little bit further behind for that death blossom. Huge ball. Up. Yeah, fast coalescing. That's the intended shadow onto Muma. So many ults here for Houston. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's huge. Oh, Nevix Muma. kills Muma. Muma Environmental gets kill. Off. He gets booped off. Nevix is fucking yeah. Uh, so clean. That's very nice. Little by Swedish Nevix. boy just fucking swimming in the rivers, bro. Sitching, <laughs> catching some salmon. I don't think that's what they do. So it's clean, sweet. bro. They fish so mackerel. Clean. Fucking fishing, fishing salmon. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Houston definitely should have won that fight. Oh boy, oh boy. You'll miss the logic. Is this going to be the first control map? The first opening control map that Toronto have won? Fact check me, chat. Is this going to be the first opening control map that Toronto win? I feel like it is. Yep, it will be. Oh, That's the patience this by Agilities. Is, this is also, though, so risky from Agilities. He was only 149 health hiding around the corner. 
with only Nevix to peel. Nevix bombs, bro. Yeah, they are yeah. on another level. I, I tell you what, people give Rian for shit for hyping up Nevix. I do think he is a very good player. I do think he's good. I think... I mean, it, it all comes down to how good, though, right? It's like... Oh, no, 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 Well played. What were you going to say? Well, I think Nevix is probably going to be about average in terms of the off-tanks this year. Do you think he's going to be a top off-tank? There's a lot of top off tanks. Exactly, that's the problem, isn't it? There's so many good players in the Overwatch League now that even other really good players end up being average just because the whole level has gone up. Yeah. Did Envy or Dallas retire Internet Hulk's jersey? I don't think he ever actually had a number, so they, they didn't have that kind of ceremony. Right. But, I mean, the league created the Dennis Havelka Award and this kind of stuff, which I think is uh, meaningful. I think it was a good way of commemorating the agility. Yeah, he was on Team Liquid as well as a coach for the league team. Yeah, he was. Time as well, but. Okay, both teams are playing the Doomfist with the Reaper. I like this from Houston, but Hydration has done nothing. This is going to be Toronto locking down Wait, did Hydration die really early on and switch to the Doom? How has he only got 8%? Uh, he did he roll out on... No, he didn't. I think that was Link's turn. It's always the Reaper's job because they can TP. Did he roll out on May? Yeah. Hydration was the first death the people in chat are saying. Okay. I was talking about Internet Hulk. Was he playing May, though? Did he roll out on May? Agility's one-fisted in. Oh, he was doomed. Oh, I guess he just fucking got pooed on. Okay. Mirror match. Agility's playing safe. Wow, that's nice. That's clean. Okay. Huge advantage. What the hell, you slippery little Lucio? How did the seismic slam not hurt him? Ooh. Punching into Nevix. The nano is interesting onto Nevix there. I think Nevix playing the Zarya is good in the mirror. He can put a lot of pressure on Mecho. And he's not playing against double shield, so he can actually get damage done, and it just allows him to play very quickly. Grav. Toronto are very weak. Hydration's in the back lines. I don't know where Logix was. He managed to trade for Muma, but... Nice. I, I think Toronto fucked up there by going too aggressive into the graph. Okay, now Nevix goes over to the Diva. Not feeling the, not feeling the Zarya. That's be hard to get value out of Graviton. The best choice with the comps in these teams are playing. Yeah, fairly difficult. Wow. Those kind of collapses are so nice to see. They are, yeah. Nice coordination. Surprisingly nice coordination from Houston. Nice. I, I want to see Houston just play almost full-time Doomfist in this match. I don't care whether it's Hydration or Blase, oh, yeah. but just play full-time Doomfist. Give me Doom Reaper, give me Doom May, give me Doom Sombra. Just play the full-time Doomfist. You need your, you need the pop-off. You need the pop-off carry yeah. potential because your team is not good enough to win it via teamwork. Yeah. Oh, Lux is going to go for the death boss. Looked like it, but he just TP'd in the middle of them, so probably not. Oh, Shatter. Huge Shatter from Beast. Enormous Shatter. Somehow connected onto Hydration. Oh, God. Oh, God. Houston still winning this? What? Oh, my God. I was worried there for Agilities. 
Oh, wow. Hydration himself is very weak, though. I don't know who Houston really winning this? I don't know who wins this. Yeah, the spawners are going to play a huge part. Logics on Tracer. Oh, let me see the Logics Tracer cam. It's Tracer. been so long. Don't show me links. Oh, well, I suppose they're playing in Houston. They want to play to the Houston crowd. Show me Logics, please. I want to see the tracking god. Do a Logics, please. Log Logics just slapped him around. Logics, Logics kills Logics again. Logics again. again. He's so good on Tracer, dude. He was like one of the original fucking yeah. met one, well, not the dunkers, bro. bro. That tracking, he's so it's good. It's like he's playing Fortnite on a controller. <laughs> like the aim assist is just ridiculous. Yeah, it, uh, Logics is so good at tracer. He is freakish. I said one of the original tracers, not really original, but before the Overwatch League, this guy yeah. was the European god tracer. Speaking of, where's Davin? <laughs> Our links are so weak. Oh, Logic's got shattered. Mooma threw it out. Mooma going for a fucking wild Still pin, but it works. Yeah. No, it's not winnable for Toronto. No, it's not winnable for Houston. Oh, yeah, it's, it's one for Houston. Unless Agilities can suddenly kill five. It's possible he could kill one and buy time for spawners. Point, 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 point. Yeah, it's a little too late. Nothing they could do. Okay. Well done, Houston. Well done. Well done, Houston. Imagine Doom and Reaper getting played all match, get over 10% playtime, and then they get banned instead of May and McCree. <laughs> it could happen. Can you imagine? That actually really could happen. Can you imagine? Because of this match. Yeah. God, Hero Pools has such a large chance of making the meta worse. I don't know about that. If... If Winston gets banned, the meta is worse. Just objectively. If Reinhardt gets banned, the meta... Actually, I don't know what the meta would be if Reinhardt was banned, so maybe that's unfair to say the meta is worse, but I enjoy watching Reinhardt. Um, if something like Widowmaker gets banned, the meta's worse, because if you ban the fringe picks, everyone just plays the McCree May. So... If anything other than the six most played heroes gets banned, generally speaking, you're going to get a worse meta because everyone is then going to be a, going to be forced to play. I, Houston are going to be worse in this mirror match. I don't want to see them play. No, I don't want to see them play the mirror match. Play the Doom. If you don't feel like you can get value out of the Doom on this, no, to play Doom into this comp. Yeah, if you so much can shut you down. It's a hard sell. It is. It's also not even the, a very good map for playing Doom. I, I don't know what they should play here, honestly. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, nice. Oh, nearly a nice wall. Slinks away. Where is Linkser? Just behind them, I think. I think he's just over to the right hand side. Oh, Hydration. Wow. Oh, Hydration's in a bit of a risky spot here. This is okay. Oh. They're getting off angles off the Hydration. Force him to use it. Linkser needs to try and hit something here. Blizzard. Mooma gets pinned. Even with the Nana boost, they're going to burst him through that. Oh, aren't they? Mooma not dead? Mooma not dead? Mooma was on like 20 health. Mooma was on 20 health. Mecco gave his life, and the uh, they gave life, nano boost, healing, and defense matrix to Mooma. But they still lose the fight. Yeah. Oh, the T. Bro, the crowd are booing so hard. Logics, my dude, do you want to get out of that arena alive? They show his face. They show his face just so the crowd knows who did Lynch yeah. later on. Oh, my God. Holy moly. That's so bad. That's funny, though. you got to do that. got to give the home team a bit of disrespect. I fucking love that. Oh, counter shatter. Yeah, but Beast, Beast got a shatter as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're too to have got this. And that's the thing. When they're playing the, the main McCree mirror matchup, they just get slapped around. 
They were they weren't in yeah. this round at all. They had no opportunities in this round. Their the May walls were worse. Their tank line was bullied. Their alt rotations were worse. Oh, we lose every week. Uh, we lose every Blizzard? week. Blizzard? Blizzard? They kill Beast. Fucking. Maybe winnable. Mm. Maybe winnable, actually. Links are on the Doom would have to go enormous. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's done. Yeah, it's it's done. done. And the pin drops. Is this a library? Is this a library? Is this a library? Well, C9? Not really a C9. There was only like two players left alive. I think Linkser was coming off the respawn on Doom for We lose, lose every week. We lose every week. You're nothing special. We lose every week. Okay, show four's in. Yo, Asencroft, thank you for the three, three quid. Come on, Jake, one last throw. Uh, I'm afraid he doesn't really have... I don't think he has the power to impact this match. I mean, he does if he... Um, just unplugs the power cable. Breaks Toronto's arms. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be considered bad sportsmanship. A lot of flexibility in terms of his ability to play Sombra when that does come up. And I think we'll probably see him stay through for the rest of the series, even if he doesn't end up playing Sombra gear. As we head into this, the Houston Outlaws going to match compositions. Linkster stays in on the McCree. Okay. What is that noise? Oh, it's, it's people, people putting put down map. epic ones. It makes a fucking horn noise every time you guys do it. Okay. Just scouting. Seeing what legendary map for sure for. It really is, yeah. Just a little check from Mecco. Uh, <sighs> running the mirror comp again oh Mooma, no 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 he got slept and walled off but there's beast. off angles bro mecco 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 beast over committed to try and do damage to him raucous is weak like shovo if he hit one headshot then that would have been a pick yeah no one's paying attention no it really does seem like mecco uh, can't understand what people are calling he just doesn't seem to be as responsive as he ever was on New York. The flashbang doesn't actually catch it, but they just dis destroy it, honestly. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. I don't want to see Houston running this mirror match. No, what no, choice no. they have on King's Road? Though. Watermelon Jesus, thanks for two months. What choice do they have? Uh, we we don't choose which games are casted. It's it's there's just a rotor, a schedule. Watermelon Jesus. The powers that be, the bosses. What could they run here? I feel like they uh, I know, they man. feel pigeonholed into running May yeah. because of King's Road. I think you yeah. I mean, I think you have to run May Reaper though. They could run as well. They can hold this choke yeah. No, I, d I, I don't even think the May Reaper would be better. Oh, Beast. Big Shatter. The Blizzard, though, actually could turn it. No. Counter Blizzard from Agilities was too good, and Shuffle had the perfect angle. Really unfortunate moment here for the Outlaws. One trump card God, we've seen so many home times in a row if Houston lose this, where the, the team just... The, the home team just doesn't win. No. What, Dallas lost both of theirs. Yeah, Justice lost both of theirs. Now Houston are going to lose both of theirs. Philly, Philly won both. Philly won both. New, York New York won both. Um... What are the homestands have we seen? Can't even remember. I mean, that's it. Is that it? No, Justice didn't win one. They lost to Paris and they lost to London. Is that it so far? Yeah. Have you ever seen Houston win a map? Have you ever seen Houston win a map? Have you ever seen Houston, ever seen Houston, ever seen Houston win a map? No fucking way! <laughs> Oh. And this is great. Hydration's getting closer and closer to that blizzard. It's Ronto Defiant. Really Jesus. at a rough spot here. It's almost like we could really teach them. Just at some point, it would just feel like down. bullying, though. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You're just shouting at the players. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. Like the the chants are fun for the fans as long as the fans themselves find it fun. It's not really. I don't know. The fans themselves have to want to do it though. I feel like the Houston fans are still haven't given up hope. The true Houston fans. I feel like bullying's built into the UK culture. We just call it banter instead. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, nice little Shuffle, flashback. Your show for is so clever. Yeah, that's so clever. So I'm coming out the outside, saw the May wall up. Knew he was going for it. Knew what was going on. He knew what was happening. Oh my word. What do you think Links of Houston? Uh, shit! What do you think of shit? Houston! <laughs> that is a proper... That's a... I think that's an American chant, isn't it? It might be. I've, I've heard people the, the, chanting the, it before. The UK CDL, whenever the UK fans are there, they chant that. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It's Spurs. Oh, it's Spurs. Oh. But defending this B point when it's already controlled for the defiant is so risky. They're going to commit. Yeah, walls, shields coming up. That's an Arsenal chant, you cunts. I'm offended. I, I mean, I don't, I don't really follow the Premier League, so I don't know half of these. I would love to talk to like a dedicated fucking Premier League fan and just learn some of these chants because they're amazing. I've told this story a couple of times, but when we used to, when we used to do um, rugby matches between Manchester University and Manchester Metropolitan. We used to chant at the Metropolitan, two Ds and a swimming badge, two Ds and a swimming badge, two Ds and a swimming badge. Just, that's, what do you need to get into Man Met? Two Ds and a swimming badge. Two Ds and a swimming badge. We'd also chant... Uh, include the word B-Tech in there somewhere. <laughs> we, uh, what, what was the other one? Um... It was like, uh, I was like, da 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 da. One day you will work for me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Which is another incredible it's one. It's an incredible one. Oh, there was also, oh, I'd rather be in Baghdad than Man Met. <laughs> was another one. <laughs> That's genuinely a chant. Fuck it out. That the, a lot, <laughs> a lot of these could really be, could really be, um, you know, reworked as effective, um, out, uh, effective Overwatch League chants. Oh, sort of like, it's hard though to get those kills on Anna. Wait, you fucking... Did you resub Alpha Crash? Thank you very much. I'll, I'll go back and take a look at them in a sec. Huge shadow. Been playing really yeah. Well. Uh, I think that Mooma makes it easy to play against, though. It should be a defense. Yeah, yeah. But we've seen a lot of Reinhardts have their best games playing against Mooma. Which is a sad thing to say, but seems to be true. That's the really big scary thing to the outlaws right now. Maybe Muma can make a shatter happen. <laughs> not, I mean, read not, gonna, not gonna read I'm this not stuff in the chat. Out. Not gonna read that. I've seen it. I'm not reading that. That chant doesn't even work for Houston. It only works when you have. Because, like, man met. But it doesn't work for Houston. Because the emphasis is on the first syllable, not the second. Oh. Muma trying to clutch shatter. Yeah. He's kind of forced to in that position. Though. Yeah, of course. Kind of well, but also, have you seen that Muma holds his shadows longer than I think any other Reinhardt? I, I can see that in his play. Yeah. Statistically, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. It makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Contested. Muma does not get hit by that, but he gets sent into the pit and he doesn't have the gravel hook. A great move there from Kellex. Three seconds remaining. Mecco is here. 
will be able to take the clock down to zero, so at least a boon for the Houston Outlaws, but now the Blizzard comes in. Cheezoid, what is, how, what is the tune for that? If I had the wings of a sparrow, if I had the ass of a crow, I'd fly over Houston tomorrow and shit on the bastards below. <laughs> We we were originally chat trying to come up with good chants for as like Houston. yeah for Houston for Houston to for chat. Houston fans and instead you guys have just tried to come up with you're a shit Shanghai Dragons <laughs> you guys have just started bullying Houston we were trying to come up with good chants for Houston fans that they can chant even when they're losing and you've you've just You've you've fucked it up. Can we play you? Can we play you? Can we play you every week? Can we play you every week? Now that is a great one for when you're dominating some shit team. They were tossing his flashbangs over Muma's shield to try to set up the big shatters for Beast. We're seeing flashbangs. Oh, that is another great one as well. Shanghai in disguise. Shanghai in disguise. Season one, Shanghai in disguise. I used to chant that at. Uh, I used to chant that at tanks in my plat games when they would feed. I would chant. Roshan in disguise <laughs> through the through the fucking comms at them. <laughs> Roshan's retired, did you see? Has he? Oh, bless him. Yeah, honestly, it wasn't his fault. Shanghai were just a fucking mess of a team, and he was running it down mid to try and help. Uh, the awful situation you're in if you're a main tank player on a shit team is that you're going to look... You're going to look dreadful. You're look so bad. I think that's why Muma looks so bad right now as well. Like, I think that he's making mistakes, sure, but I think the fact that you're on a bad team, it's like the Sado effect, right? But yeah. to a much yeah. larger degree. I think the amount of people that were shit-talking Sado last year. Yeah. I mean, I see the exact same now with Boomer. Uh, but you're right, he's not playing as well. He's not playing well. But it's amplified. It definitely is amplified Fucking by being on a bad team. Massively so. Very great time make start here. No escape here. You want some of the blame? Start with the coaches. <laughs> <laughs> when you're sad in Rosie and his slam hits your feet, that's a Muma. <laughs> that's amazing, chat. That is amazing. That's a really good one. That is a really good one. <laughs> Oh, that's really good. There's two ways of thinking about a moment like this. One is to let it go, as you say, to prevent ult charge. Another is, look, we've got a great pot that can stall. We've got a diva. We have a, we've got a May, so we can, you know. Oh God. We know that time is so important. If we let them have this at five minutes plus, if they finish, they're gonna have a better time making us. It feels very likely. It's a very scary thing. So we're just talking about champs, and we get hit with the uh, the most generic one. Let's go, outlaws. Let's go, outlaws. USA. USA. I, I, listen, I give them the benefit of the doubt that they don't know any better. Yeah, I think American people just haven't put much thought into chance generally. They don't have creativity. I will say, I love the Philly song. No one likes us, no one likes us, no one likes us. We don't care. We're Philly. Fucking Philly. No one likes us, we don't care. Yeah, yeah that one's good. What is I believe that we will win? What's what's the what's the tune or the rhythm to that? Oh, is that an English chant and they just changed the tune? Oh, but fair that's enough. I mean I like that's, that's fair enough. You know, yeah, it's, that's fine. At least they're making an effort. At least they're learning. This is best case scenario for the Defiant. Absolutely could not be better. <laughs> when the slam hits your shield and the tanks haven't peeled, that's a Muma. <laughs> Oh There's so this many is verses. Bullying, bullying, it is. It it's is. This is not good. This is not good. We shouldn't be encouraging this. We were trying to come up. Okay. We were trying to come up with good chance for Houston. Okay. Good chance for Houston. Yeah. I, 
get eliminated now hydration will fall you gotta think about the mental state of these players as well yeah and we're just ribbing on them constantly yeah i know it I go carried away in the in the genuine hilarity of some of the chants, but the the outlaws must be feeling fucking devastated. Honestly, to lose both of your matches at the homestand is dreadful. But when it when it caps off a Norton six start to the beginning of the Overwatch League, oh. and I think they're on something like an eleven match loss streak now. No, wait, maybe an. I think they might be on it. I think this might be the tenth match that they've lost in a row. The franchise. So for Mooma, who endured all of that last year as well, that is yeah, heartbreaking. Brutal. Like, uh, absolutely the, 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 the stomping on well your dreams. Is, like, there's going to be this mental block that's in place until they get over that first hurdle, that first win. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I like that one, actually. That's a good one for Houston fans. So for Premier League fans, for soccer fans, when, when the enemy team beats you but only by, like, two... 2-0 or something, they'll chant, you only scored two, you only scored two, how shit are you guys, you only scored two. <laughs> so I like that, if if Houston ever make it to like, I don't know, that doesn't really work though, because it's first to three, isn't it? Yeah. So it doesn't really work. Hmm. I don't know. You took us to five, you took us to five, yeah. how you, shit are you? You took us to, yeah, that, you that, took us to five. yeah, or we took you to five. Yeah. And the cart keeps rolling. Yeah. One minute plus is all they need to get uh, to Yeah, that's 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 a good one. I like that one. We'll teach the Houston fans that one. <laughs> Rodden, that's another great uh unfortunately the that's a Mooma just has so many options for new verses. He's doing well here, though. Uh, I need to pay more attention because the outlaws have capped point B and I yeah, wasn't expecting yeah. it. You're just busy shit talking. We took you to seven. Yeah. We somehow got two. We somehow got two. How shit are you? We somehow got two. <laughs> <laughs> they are great chants. I think it helps the fans not take it so seriously as well. I mean, the players shouldn't yeah. be paying attention to this kind of stuff anyway. It's just terrible for their mental health. But for the fans, I think it helps. Oh, nice May wall from Hydration. Oh, I thought that bomb was headed in this direction. Oh, Rock has just got out of the way. They've got it. You know what? They've only gone and fucking done it. Are they going to finish with over a minute on the clock? Oh, let's fucking go, Houston. They're doing it. Houston are doing it. They're doing it. Houston are doing it. They're doing it. They're doing it. They're doing it. Feet. We're winning a map. We're winning a map. How shit are you? We're winning a map. Oh, now that is fucking pog. Someone get me a Houston jersey. Yeah. Holy shit. Jake must have one upstairs. We could just go and raid Jake's room. I don't want to raid Jake's room for a Houston jersey. <laughs> Give him a ring. Uh, if I rang him, hey, Jake, uh, you really like to wear your Houston jersey <laughs> upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the one that just got retired that means a lot to you, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah. that you wore throughout your entire career. Yeah. All right, what are the chances of the draw? What are the chances of the draw? Okay, this is where it really matters. If Houston draw this, they're fucked. They need to win this. One tick. One minute 49. One tick. They can do it. Have you seen that the game says they pushed it 0.2 meters, 0.02 meters further? Yeah. I don't understand how that gets logged. It's strange. Okay. I don't know why. But, I mean, it's definitely not. It can't be a rounding error. Yeah, it can't. Like yeah. 0.31. Yeah, very strange. 0.29. Oh, if he had hit that. Oh, that would have been a nasty that's, shot. That's a win. Going over to the McCree. Going for the mirror. Agility's bionated. 
Walker's cut down a little weak. Agilities with a defensive Maywall. That's going to be on cooldown. The go time is now. The go time is now. Maywall. Great Maywall. It. Nice Maywall nice from hydration. Oh. The whole yeah, team feels. Oh, he slipped out the side. Muma, I think, probably should have gone for the pin so that Beast is forced to counter pin and they can kill him while he's on the floor. Yeah, positioning. This is good, though, for the Outlaws. Yep. Lynx is in a decent position as well. Nice sleep. Nice Beast sleep. is dead. Beast is dead. They're doing it. Houston are doing it. Lynx are with three. Give Houston a win. Give Houston a win. Please, God, give Houston. I fucked it, but it, <laughs> just give them the win, please. Yes. They took the map. Yes. Oh. Enormous. We're well all, done. We're all Houston fans on this blessed day. Well fucking done. Oh, finally. Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy. We're in a good position oh, boy, oh, boy. God. Nine months from now, tons of children are going to be born. In, in Houston, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> That's Outlaw's first map win before halftime. Fucking hell. Wow, wow, wow. Just making sure that Shawfall wasn't able to get value out of the flank as well. Yep. Nice. Linkser, I, Linkser is one of those players that performs on the stage. Like, if the reason they didn't put him in was because he doesn't, he wasn't performing in scrims. Well, he's performing now. He's a player that performs better on stage. Like, he's like me. <laughs> like, what can I say? <laughs> uh, what can I say? They're subbing out Linkser. Um, Maybe for yes, Horizon. for Horizon. That makes sense, Sombra though. Sombra Doomfist, baby. Yeah, I want to see Dante Blase, and Blase. Blase, Dante. Blase, Dante, Dante, get them in. Play Sombra Doomfist. Play some I fucking anything. Like, I actually... I've got a shred of belief. I like it. I think this next map is like winnable it. for Houston. I don't think it's a guarantee by any stretch of the imagination. Not even close. But sometimes you won't get that lucky. Yeah. But if we go all tanks... Imagine only having 11 allies left at the end and winning. We will survive. Holy shit. Only healers and tanks. Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. We're we going must goats. go goats. We must go goats. We must go goats. One last time, please, bro. Please, bro. We need my SR, bro. But the map's about to start, so hurry up. Okay, quick, quick. quick. Oh, I need to collect my shit. Okay, let's watch the match instead. Well, we knew Houston were going to play this. Yes, I like and I'm it. glad Houston did play this. I like it, I like it. I like it. and Dante. Okay. okay. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on here? Down here. Yeah, bottom one. Go goats, chat. Goats. Go goats. Go goats. Only tanks, only healers. And if you don't have tanks, go warriors, because they have their next highest HP. Okay. okay. Goats. Now into the game. Into the game. Into the game. One last ride. One last ride. Okay. Houston have managed to get into position well. Blase goes in. They've used Rally as well, so a lot of people have bonus armor. Oh, no. Wait, no, they haven't used Rally? No, of course they haven't used Rally. How would they possibly have built up a Rally yet, you dumb fuck? <laughs> he just had an armor pack. They get a pick off here with the hacks. EMPs. Beast 1 HP. Somebody kill, please, Beast. Oh, dude. I'm, I'm fucking out of it. I was thinking about Stream Raiders. I thought Houston were on offense. <laughs> dude, bro. I've been thinking about Stream Raiders too much. I, I absolutely spooned that one up. Well, okay. All right. Let me reset my brain here for a sec. Houston and Outlaws are defending, and Dante managed to get that EMP really quickly. Nice. Okay, well done. If Dante gets EMP every fight, they are definitely going to win. Ooh. Oh, six-man bio. Six-man bio. Go, Blase, go. Go, Blase, go. The dam dams, bro. Go blase, go blase. Fucking damage. Oh, nice. Ooh. Come on, this is a good strat from Houston. Mm. The thing is, Kellex cannot hide when he approaches on Horizon. So if he gets EMP'd, 
like it's not like he can hang back you know what i mean like normally the counter to the emp is to try and hide your lucio there is no way that you can hide your lucio on the approach because you need the speed boost to be able to or at least the speed to be able to get in yeah dante didn't get anything though Ooh, i nearly died holy fuck okay i would expect an emp in the staircase or the upper area here I think Dante will... Oh, he doesn't have a translocator in position. He can delete it. No, no, the, the Houston, have, Houston have backed off. They're clearly planning to EMP on point. point. Oh, look at Kellex. Oh. See, this is where it gets dangerous, because now Kellex can hide. Okay. Mecco's trying to push Kellex out. They're looking for the hack. Nice. nice hack. They need to go for the EMP now, though. Oh, oh Kellex died. Kellex nice died. work. They, That's what nice. They this is good. This, this is, is good. good. This is good. This is good. I don't want to see Houston play in the mirror matchup. I know that they won King's Row, but please, you look so much better when you're running this comp. Dante is a very good Sombra. He is a very, very good Sombra. Blase is good on Doomfist as well. Cerebral. A lot of Sombras would have just EMP'd as soon as the hack went off. They look units, like chat. Set up the units, yeah. please. Tanks. Please. Healers. Tanks. Only tanks. Only goats. Tanks and healers. We go goats. We're playing goats. All right. This is Toronto Defiance only chance. They can use beat to engage and just... Another oh, my God. Kalex died. And agility is easy. They, they eat it. Oh, my God. It. Oh, Houston have won. Houston are doing it. Oh, my God. Wow. Huge from it, Houston. It's not that I'm a Houston fan. It's just that I am not a fan of shit tier teams. Yes. It's always good to see a team that l should be dog shit, not be dog shit. And it's not like... It's not like Toronto are fucking up. This is Houston winning. Yes. This isn't Toronto losing. This is Houston have to use beat winning. Engage. Yeah, but Dante's, Dante's nearly got EMP again. Oh, Mooma oh, dies. Oh, Mooma, no, 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 no. You Mooma had dies primal. primal. You had Primal, my dude. Dante, Dante no, no, no. Oh, oh, EMP. oh no, 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 no. Oh, it's huge. They're clutching. They're clutching, they're clutching. Clutch. Blase, come on, Blase. Blase, 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 Blase. Yes, oh, Blase. Blase. Yes, Blase, you little fucking nutter. Do it for the grab. Mooma's going to come back in with Primal. I think he can clutch. If they oh. even need somebody to clutch. I think they might just I be winning anyway. Good. Yeah, they're good anyway. I think they're Gucci. They're oh, good. Oh, God. yes. Oh, thank God. Well done. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, well played. Please be. Who did Outlaws play against yesterday? My mind's gone blank. Was it Philadelphia? Oh, it was London, London wasn't it? Yeah. London. Oh, they look a lot better today. I think the maps are better today as well, though. Horizon is so much better for the Outlaws than Anubis is. Yeah. Johnny asked what we're doing tonight. I've got a voiceover tomorrow, so I don't know if I want to go out. Um, I have to meet up with Beth, so. Oh. Beth's getting her haircut. She's going for the uh, pixie cut. Well, like uh, Avril and Pixie. <laughs> yeah, big ginger mustache. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Oh, God. Uh, what's a pixie cut? Pixie cut's like what Zoe has. It's oh. like the... like. Uh, well, actually, Zoe's, Zoe doesn't really have a pixie cut yeah. anymore, I think, because she's stylized it a lot more, but um, she, she used to. Like but like yeah, the... I, 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 it's like short. Short, like a, yeah, like, um, like a, short style. Like a, a bob or something. No, it's not a bob. A okay, bob is no, shoulder bob, length. It's not a bob. <laughs> like a short, short kind of hair. A pixie cut is like a female bowl cut. No, it's not, you <laughs> fucking idiots. <laughs> uh. No arches. Short and textured. Arch, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, it's the tracer haircut. That's oh, a good way okay. of putting it. Tracer haircut. It is a shame that Davin never got a chance in Owl. I, I really don't know why. I think people just weren't willing to take a chance on an older player. Makes no sense. It doesn't. 
because he doesn't have any personality issues. He's a great teammate. He's a fast learner. Plays a large range of heroes. He's skilled on the tracer and the hit scan. I don't think he would have been the greatest player in the world in the Overwatch League, but at least in season one, he would have been one of the better players. Oh. Is that some good tea? Is that the tea, sis? Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, good, good. A little bit of fluff in there, but check it out. Okay. So Toronto are going for this same strap, but on the defense. Uh, obviously, it's a good comp. I want to see Houston run dive into this. Like, run your own counter Sombra. And Blase Genji could be great as well. Mm. I think Blase is going to find it difficult to run the Genji, but I think he would have also found it difficult to run the Doomfist. So, I don't mind the Genji. You got EMP Nana Blade. You should be able to get something working once you have it up. Sombra is also very effective into Agilities and Chure 4. Are they going to swap? What are they swapping here? They're going Blase on the Doom? Just going to play the Mirror. Mirror? Yeah. I guess. Speed boost? No speed boost. For sure. But I suppose if you're playing against the Sombra, then... I think the... Brigitte is way better. Yeah, I think the Doom is better for Blase, and Blase is better at the Doom, but I wouldn't have minded the Genji. I don't think it's dreadful. I think it's pretty difficult to get value out of, even with the Blade. Yeah, I, can, I think that Houston can win this mirror. I think it'll be close, but I think they can win it. And they only need to get one tick, so... Oh, Mooma's been hacked. Agilities gets the first pick. Okay. Walkers has generated a lot of his ult, though. This fight now is just about <coughs> whether Dante can generate enough EMP charge. <coughs> Dante at 80%. I think you've got to go for a dry push here and just get EMP'd, to be honest. Uh -oh. If you can't find the first pick and you get EMP'd, you're still fine, though, because you've got the ults for the next fight. It's only bad if Houston lose first pick and still use their EMP. They still have ways of fucking this up, but, but Houston are in a great position to win this map. Dante might even try and use a preemptive EMP. They've they've used Primal. Mooma's in the back with Primal. Oh, that's nice. That's nice that's from Blase. That's so nice from Blase. Oh, except his positioning's a bit all over the place. Mooma's been in the back line, though. Mooma's in your yeah. back line with Primal. And he's killed Kareev. The EMP got used? Shufo used it? I didn't even realize. Yeah, no way. Three players hacked. Raucous dies, and they didn't get anything out of the EMP. That was, a, that was a beautiful zoning bomb by Kalex. It, it stopped anyone following up on the EMP. Oh, Blase! Can he clutch? I think he, he might be able to. Oh, the uppercut! Wow. He's Kareem right back into it. But Agilities is clutching his own way as well. Agilities oh has got three. But I, I think Outlaws have better spawns. Yes. Yeah, Outlaws have better spawns. I think they win. Uh, yes, but only if Blase stays yes, alive. Oh, yes. yes they That's win. done it. That's done it. If Agility's killed Blase there, they would have lost, I think. But oh, no, no, no. I think they've got it now. Blase. Nice. Heal. Nice. Well nice. played. Come on. Okay, That's Houston. it. That's it. In the bag. Oh, what oh. happened to Shaw Force EMP? Did he get hacked? Did he get stunned? There was a lot of possibilities. Yeah. A lot of things that could have happened. Been, he could have been fisted. He could have been hacked. He could have been Yeah, he could have been shield bashed. Were they running Anna? Yes. He could have been slept. Yeah. <laughs> Four things that could have happened to him to yeah. get rid of it. Did he... Punched by Doom, someone said. Oh, apparently he, he used, used it up top, top and got, got four. four. I think he's solo EMP's damage. I see so, three different answers, chat. Don't fucking... 
Why are you guessing? If you don't know the answer, don't. It's not an exam where you just write down what you think's best. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, see, that's two back to back wrong answers. He hit four, god damn it, go back, and someone else is saying solo EMP Dante. All right, let's rewind. Let's rewind. The chat honestly has two completely different answers. All right, let's let's roll it back a bit. Run it back to a boat. We should actually be able to show this on screen as well because it's a VOD at this point. Yeah. But I think that's that might be taking the piss a little bit, honestly. If you guys are looking for diabolical keys, the diabolical Twitter has just spammed about 20 tweets with five keys in each. So you might be able to get one. All right, here we go. Show four with EMP. Okay, show four has EMP. We're watching him. He sees Muma, goes for the hack. Drops to the low ground, sees Dante. Comes up top. Uses EMP, catches four, including Dante. But he's miles away from the rest of his team. There's no follow-up yeah. potential at all. No follow-up. Yeah, that's a bad EMP by sure for. <clears throat> I don't know what he thought the rest of his team would be able to do. Maybe he was hoping that Beast would be able to dive up there, or Agilities or somebody, but he didn't realize that his team was under pressure. Normally, Shofar has very good situational awareness, so I think there's some kind of reason. Tito's? Yeah, I'm not showing it on screen for you guys. I mean, you guys can go back and watch it if you want to watch it. Um, Matt Marcel's tweet. What is this? What is this Matt Marcel tweet? Oops, just long. Yes, this is now live. What is this? What is this tweet? Was not expecting to fire this one off today on Horizon. Blase, 16 final and blows. The whole of Toronto, 15. That's pretty nuts. That is pretty nuts. Blase did pound on the Doomfist. Match point. I think I think it's very possible that Toronto still win this though. What's the next map? Um, show me the map set. If, show me the map set. Presented by. Uh, if it's Dorado, then Toronto I think are favoured. And I think it might be Dorado because Blase staying in. Is it Dorado? Blase still in, we win these? Yeah, maybe. I would normally consider Toronto to be fairly heavily favored on Dorado, though. Okay, let's see. Can can they win? Can you move your laptop to your lap? Uh, yeah, I can, actually. Dorado. Interesting. Okay. We're going to see a lot of dive on this map. I fucking love this. Yeah. It plays into Houston's hands as well. Toronto are very good on this map, but it is also a good map for Houston. Just because it lets them get the fuck away from the May McCree mirror. I'm not sure whether Owl is still sponsored by Omen. Or by HP. I'm not sure. What? Overwatch League sponsored by HP. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think they are. But they might be like a hardware sponsor, but not a sponsor of stuff on the broadcast. Yeah. So, I don't know. If Shofar goes Widow on the defense, is there anything Houston can do? Mm, just play Dive or Reaper May and try and kill their tank line before he kills them. Mm, yeah, hack on the beast, hack on the beast. I wonder if this is going to affect the pick rates of the heroes. Yeah, it will. I think this will push Doomfist into 10%, maybe. <laughs> like, this actually, this match 
could affect hero pools. This match could, this one match could end up with us having a shitty meta for next week. <laughs> Thanks, Houston. Winston Band. Winston Band, Doomfist Band, Brigitte Band. Everyone plays May McCree, Anna Lucio from then on. The six man EMP, fucking destruction. Blase is in like a motherfucker with the Nana Boost. I love watching Houston play like this. They have a plan, they know what they want to do, they execute, oh fuck, Blase got a headshot. Uh, okay, well I don't love seeing that. They, they're still gonna buy a bit of time. If Blase hadn't got a headshot there, they could have still held yeah. at Archway. I don't think they can hold at the choke anymore. They, they, they got a few players up. They can still hold by Fountain. They can get a hack off and maybe a pick. Yeah, they actually still can. What? Raucous, my man. Yeah, have you seen how far forward Raucous is? No, oh, my oh, God. Oh, Blase's, Blase's so Blase's clean. Doom is so fucking crisp. It is, yeah. It's so crispy. And Mooma's Primal gets three. Mooma gets three? Nice work. I think Reinhardt's his worst hero. Is that controversial? I feel like that's just a fact. I would say his wrist is better. I'd say his wrecking ball is definitely better. Yeah, I'd say like his Arissa and his wrecking ball are his two best. His Winston's okay. all right. Like sometimes he flanks and hard feeds, just playing a solo style of Winston. But I think his Ryan is worse. Used to be a good Ryan. I think he's just his playstyle is a little bit antiquated. With yeah. him saving the shatters for the big clutch moments. Yeah, yeah. Not trying to get value out of it as much. Beast for the primal is getting burst down as well. Looking for Blase. Oh, what? Wow. I'm surprised that that missed. He can get big value here. <laughs> yeah, nice. Bye bye. Blase is clean as fuck. So fucking clean. It's so oh, good. Oh, it's beautiful to watch. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. Actually, imagine having this on your roster and playing the May McCree. Imagine having this on your roster and putting Blase on McCree. But at least they've learned their lesson sooner rather than yeah. Houston last year. Yes. Do you remember when it took yeah. them fucking took them forever? Took them two thirds of the season. All because Monty made a little tweet. <laughs> I mean, also that 2 2 2 was happening. Yeah. With 2 2 2 on the horizon, you just didn't need to be good at goats anymore. So people could swap off. I don't want to give Monty too much credit. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't think the coaches listen to us that much. If the coaches are smart, they don't listen to us at all. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be real. Yeah. I mean, but that's the that's the key, right? The coaches actually have to be smart. Yes. <laughs> if the coaches we, are dumb, they actually out, probably should listen to us. We have come out on record saying, that's unlucky. He's trying to get the timing right there. Yeah, he didn't get the timing at all. Uh, Great we, time we ticked off out, the clock, though. We have come out on the record earlier today saying 75% of the coaches in the league are shit. Yeah, but also, I don't, they're not, that's not because they're lazy or they don't know the game or any of that stuff. They just, they fall into overcomplication kind of traps. Yeah. I, and I'm not saying that I would be any better. I think I would also fall into those exact same traps. I don't think I would be very good at teaching players fundamentals. You seen me play Overwatch? <laughs> that's not my knowledge pool at all. Yeah. Shrilfall loves Reaper. He does. He does, yeah. He's good at it as well. <laughs> the body block! <laughs> body block yeah. from Nevix! Yeah. Wow, that's class. I actually think it looked like it went through Shrilfall, though. I think he fucked up the timing. I think Rock has got the timing wrong. But anyway, a weird scenario. Nice EMP though, and Houston are just continuing like to roll this. Houston's win. It does, doesn't it? It really does. Why are you just staggering this out even more? We got out, but Toronto beat Paris and then lose to Fusion in five maps. Atlanta, 3 0. 
and then get and then give Houston their first win of the season. Toronto must be the most difficult team to place in the whole league in terms of where you put them. You just gotta look at the play styles. Yeah, it's a very heavy play style thing. Another eat. Mecco's been playing all right. He's been eating a lot. He's Mecco plays so much better when it's dive. I think Mecco just doesn't understand this meta, actually. I think maybe the coaching staff of New York is very good at teaching Mecco, like, or at least how to play in certain matters, but he understands dive. He's he's just playing based on intuition, and he's f everywhere he needs to be. Mecco is really good at this kind of style of Overwatch. Mecco's still using the NYX Osprey. Yeah, he is. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh god. What the fuck? I mean, it's just okay, slowing them down. Brig is so good with this comp as well. Just armor packs on the Sombra allow her to play so much more aggressively. Uh, Nevix tries to use the South District appeal. Yeah, that's good though. Counter charge. Counter pin is alright, but Outlaws are in a better position, so they just win. Yep. Okay. Unless Houston suck on the offense, they've won this series. Wait a second, can Agility's clutch? No. Yeah, unless Outlaws hard feed, it is still losable. This is still a losable series. With Outlaws, nothing is outside the realms of possibility. But it, this should be, this should be an Outlaws win. And they feel good, you can tell. Look at them. They're hyped up. They're energized. They feel good. If Defiant play like a May Reaper or a May McCree and try and hold close, then I think Outlaws can just run a Doomfist and try and find a pick. Everything's bother in Texas. Bigger. Oh, and then it's someone's ass. Raucous's ass. Oh, it's Raucous's ass. <laughs> That's pretty great. Don't forget the full hold against London. I don't know, dude. I think, I think Outlaws should have this. Full holds should be rarities on this map. It, it, you don't full hold because the defenders are good. You full, you full hold because the attackers are bad. Bogged. No, we full hold. <laughs> the bogged meme is good. It's not funny, though. I think it is. It's, it's like just funny because he's a fucking. It's dumb. Yeah, it's dumb, but it's like, it's implying that everything's scripted in life, right? Yeah. Like that's the joke. Is that? It's like somebody cruelly manipulating the fates. It's like a Greek tragedy kind of meme. Bogged is pretty funny. I, I, I'm a fan. I was unaware of it until Jaws. It. Yeah, until Jaws introduced me to it. Uh, Dante relocates. That's a cue to go. Agilities has got to be great to win this map. He is good. It looked like Blase has been outplaying him so far, though. On the Doomfist. Oh, Raucous dies. Where was Raucous? I feel like I asked that question a lot. Yeah, Rogers sometimes has some wacky <laughs> position. Like some fucking straight up, like, Twilight Zone shit with his position. Yeah. Can you imagine if Doom Sombra becomes meta and Chips has played full time? <laughs> Could happen. Oh, wow. Nice hack. nice hack. Oh, great hack. Oh, counter hack. Counter hack on Dante. Dante I think. Die, Dante. Oh, he dies. But you take that trade. Houston on the offense. You look at Mooma's mechanics. Yeah, Mooma's mechanics on the primal okay, range are good. So good. But then his mechanics aren't the problem. No. 
he, like on the Reinhardt stuff, I mean Reinhardt mechanics, Omega lol. <laughs> but, 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 but yeah, it's it's always his decision making, isn't it? And his positioning. Oh, it catches both tanks. Nana boost onto Beast. Oh, was that? EMP. Yeah, EMP from Toronto is better. Oh, did, did, didn't kill Dante. The rally is huge from Toronto. Surefors could just run around like a Back fucking beast. Oh! What a perfectly placed Mecca, bomb! What a bomb! What a beautiful bomb! That's great. That is great. Still winnable for Toronto because if they win this next fight, it can be quite hard for the attackers to push, but it's looking very unlikely that Toronto win. Houston would have to mega fuck up at this point. Oh my god, both supports are just coming around the high ground. What is this? What the fuck? They're gonna bash onto the high ground? No, I have no idea what that was. What just occurred? I don't know, but they killed Kareev. Kareev dies. Dante in the back lines. What's going on? Oh, Houston are doing it! They're doing Bro, it! What just happened? They're Matt. doing it! Oh, Beast kills Blase, actually. That's fucking huge. Oh, but Agility dies as well. Houston is still doing it. Yeah. This is still great for Houston. Oh, no. Oh, no. EMP! Kalex is so weak, he's done! This, this, this is it, this is it, this is it. They've done it, they've done it. They've done it. They've done it. They've fucking done it! They did it. They did it! They've only gone and done it. I only took them this nice. long. They get the win! Well done, nice, Houston! Nice, Houston. Well Dude, done! The fans are fucking the, wild. The fans did not expect that. The fans are wild. They did not Zoe's expect that. Zoe's a fucking that. genius. Zoe's a fucking genius. Zoe predicted Houston. bro. Zoe's Zoe a fucking genius. Zoe predicted Houston. Zoe was the only one that predicted Houston. The only one on Earth that predicted Houston. Holy shit. Zoe stonks. Zoe stonks. Through by Zoe stonks. Zoe stonks are through the roof. Bump it up. Zoe stonks unbelievably high. Wow. Oh my word. Zoe has the script. That's gutting for Toronto. When they came out and they beat Paris and took Fusion to five, they looked like a top five team. And now they look like they're mediocre. As long as you can deal with their somber yeah. doom, you've got them figured. Uber predicted Houston? Uber predicted Houston? No, he didn't. Pull it back. No, he didn't. Pull it back. Let's see the pre-shot. The pre... Yeah. No, you can go, you fucking you can go all the way back. He was, the way back. he was joking. I don't oh, want to go all the way back now. Okay. I want to listen to this interview. Listen to the interview. Crazy. I just wanted to ask you, Rockus, how does it feel to finally be able to play in front of the hometown crowd with this insane level of energy? It's crazy. Actually, you can hold the mic. All right. It's a bit crazy. Like, uh, we've got to play Dallas last year, and there was a lot of Houston fans. But this energy is, like, next level. We can feel it. You guys helped us so much. That's that's a great answer. I absolutely love it. Uh, what I want to ask you about next is, looking forward, Hero Pools are coming up next. Hero Pools. Diverse roster oh, my God. Hero Pools. What are the stats? Team? Have they have they the pushed way, Doomfist like, into 10%? Oh, they might. Oh. I think we'll be very good in this Hero Pool meta. I think Outlaws will be better in the Hero People Pool meta. seem to agree, uh, but what, what I want to ask most of all is, looking forward, you've got a long season ahead. Obviously, things got off to a less than ideal start, but now you've got a win under your belt. Does this signal a momentum change for the Outlaws? I certainly hope so. No, no, we're... I think we, uh, I think we had a battle a lot of things. I'm not going to make any excuses, but we're always super confident and we're never going to give up, so I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to the next couple games. As Thank you so much, Rockus, and thank you to everyone here in Houston. It's been an amazing show. Great to see the Outlaws get their win here today. And back to you guys on the casting desk. Thank you very much, Jay. Cormac, thank you for the five quid. I, I agree, honestly. I think 
as a Toronto fan, you can be pretty worried that your team got figured out so easily, but Houston just played well. Yep. Houston played well today, Load and it's up. so good to see a North I 5 team hate actually it. win. I hate it when the hometown teams lose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To, in the, with their own home stands, because it's like it's such a bad feeling. The, but the stats haven't updated. They don't update live. Well, we're going to find out on the yeah, post Yeah, we're going to find out on the post show.